Today I'll be doing a presentation on Among Us, the uh, hit mobile game, which is a uh, murder mystery. Um, Among Us is a game of teamwork and betrayal. Players are either crewmate or an imposter. Play with 4 to 15 players online. These are the controls. As you can see, the spread crewmate is doing a task. Being a good little crewmate, as all crewmates should be. Next slide, please. If you already have an Among Us account on either platform, you may be able to link that account. Alternatively, you can create a brand new account. Firstly, determine who you want to play with. Now, if you want to play with your friends online, set to private and share the room code. If you want to play with others from around the world, please send them to public. Now, if you want to play with more tasks or a faster walk speed, more imposters, as a host, you can change these settings. Be sure to make the, make the changes with your fellow players. Now, if someone is being rude and slash or spamming, Hosts can temporarily kick players as a warning or ban players currently from the specific online. This is a simple map of uh, the scale, which is one of the maps, one of the four maps in Among Us. All highly detailed. Now, players have access to a personal map to help them navigate the personal mission. Now, this is the crew. Their crew, the crew's objective is to fill group task bar or discover the imposter. The imposter among them, so to speak. Now, you can complete tasks to fill the gauge, react to the imposter's sabotage, call emergency meeting if the imposter is found, or report dead bodies. Please check admin and security for suspicious activity. Now, the imposter, which is the bad one. Are trying to sabotage the crew as much as possible, but you want to blend in with the crew too. Sneak through the vents, pretend to run tasks, sabotage the ship, and confuse the crew. We're gonna close doors, trap victims, and then kill the crew between crew bands. As unfortunate as that may be. While playing in person, no talking is allowed to keep the game fair between the crew and the imposter. Now, if a player is killed by the imposter, they cannot talk until the game ends. They can, however, talk with the other players who are ghosts, which the ghosts are assigned tasks, and they're also working towards the overall objective for the crewmates to win. Now, discuss. When someone reports a dead body or calls an emergency meeting, the crew gathers to discuss what they know about the imposter. Now, players can talk openly about who they think the imposter is and what information they have. When playing in person, ghosts cannot talk as they already know who the imposter is. So, imposters will try to prove their innocence or accuse another crew member. Who is the imposter? After discussion, vote for who you think the imposter is. Whoever gets majority votes will be ejected from the ship, so choose wisely. Now, if you don't have enough information to decide who the imposter is in the crew, you can also skip voting to avoid ejecting someone innocent. You gather more information instead. Practice in free play mode. Set your own tasks as a crew member, or practice the imposter's killing strategies. And that is basically what Among Us is all about. It's just getting your tasks done, or finding the imposter. And if you're the imposter, unfortunately, you're going to have to kill the crew members. That was my presentation on Among Us. A very excellent game. I would recommend it to virtually anyone who has a mobile device, a console of any kind of sort, electronic. Play it on your radio, play it on your Nokia, pretty much anything can run among us these days. We truly live in a marvelous and incredible time period, almost like the second industrial revolution. Now, that was it for me, but I hope you guys will watch my next video from Pugwolf33, although I am